Super Mario RPG might be the coziest RPG ever, and then the post-game bosses slapped us right in the face. Before taking on the true challenges waiting for Mario and friends, the game is fairly simple all things considered. Then it becomes so brutally difficult even the best Super Mario RPG players are throwing their plumber hats in anger. Hi, I'm Toast and in this guide we are going to go over some of the trickiest challenges Super Mario RPG has to offer. From tips to beating the last bosses, to methods to taking out super hidden bosses, we have you covered. But before we get started, you'll want to get your hands on some Primo accessories. We've already talked about the best armor and Mario's best weapon, but you'll also need the secret Jinx belt before tackling all those post-game challenges. How to obtain the Jinx belt The Jinx belt is one of the best items in Super Mario RPG, especially when compared to most items pre Uber Boss. Unfortunately, obtaining it is pretty darn difficult in and of itself because it is locked behind not one, but three bosses. Okay, technically one boss you fight three times, but you get the idea. Jinx is a diminutive fellow, but one who will kick your bedenimed butt if you aren't careful, especially later on. To get to him, you first need to unlock Monstro Town, follow the only staircase up and head through the door at the top of the hill. This is Jinx's dojo. Defeat Jagger, a redeemed minion from Bowser's army, and Jinx will reveal himself. Once you have found Jinx, you can immediately fight him. This first fight is incredibly easy and can be beaten simply by attacking, perfect blocking and healing. This form of Jinx has no notable attacks or tricks, he is just a basic encounter. The second fight with Jinx is far more difficult. This version has two new attacks and both are pretty darn nasty. Quicksilver is an incredibly powerful single target attack that should be blocked to save items and FP on healing. Silver Bullet on the other hand is a bit more dangerous as it instantly knocks out anyone it hits. To avoid your fate you must perfectly block the attack. If you fail you will need to resurrect that character ASAP. This is very costly in terms of items, FP and time to practice his timings. Other than that, Jinx's second encounter is once again by the numbers, hit him in the head until he goes down. Jinx's final form is his most powerful, naturally. He gains access to a very powerful AoE attack which forces you to use AoE healing like group hug on Peach to survive. Other than that, this really is just a numbers race and a level check. We recommend being around level 18 to beat the final form of Jinx. Mario, Gino and Peach are our chosen party since this is the perfect balance of offense and defense. Your reward for beating Jinx's final form is the Jinx Belt, a powerful item that increases almost every stat a character has, the only exception being HP. This is great for bumping a character to prime DPS status and is ideal on the likes of Mario or Gino, two characters who thrive off raw stats for their damage. This item is also very handy for defeating the uber boss, Kulex. Speaking of which, how to beat Kulex. Kulex is by far the most difficult fight in Super Mario RPG. Well, he was the most difficult fight in the SNES original. He has since been usurped in the Switch version, but don't let his declined ranking fool you. Kulex is no joke and they will absolutely destroy you if you go in unprepared. Heck, you can fight Kulex surprisingly early on if you really want to, although this would be a mistake. Death would almost certainly be the outcome. Luckily, he does give you the option to leave if you enter and regret your life decisions. All of that being said, it's worth taking a gander as this chap is a 2D sprite and he has a bit of a story arc based on his desire to become 3D like you. Kulex is locked behind a, well, a locked door that can only be opened with a special item. The item in question is the shiny stone and this can be found by accident as early as Moleville. Just be aware you will need to have saved Dinah and Might from the mine before you can nab this stone. With that out of the way, head to Moleville and talk to the mole hiding behind some crates. She wants some fireworks in exchange for her shiny stone. To get the fireworks, simply make your way to the Moleville item shop and talk to the toad behind one of the counters. 
he will offer to sell you fireworks for the low, low price of 500 coins. Take the fireworks to the mall and the shiny stone will be yours. Awesome. Now, what do you do with it? Well, you won't be able to do anything for a while, not until you get to Monstro Town. Near the item shop, you will find a mysterious door that is locked unless you have the previously nabbed shiny stone. Open the door and Kulex will await your challenge. They are far more powerful than even the final boss of Super Mario RPG, so we recommend preparing for this fight. Firstly, you should be at least level 20, the higher the better. This will give you enough stats to not immediately die to their barrage of attacks. It will also give you enough stats to hit hard enough to make a difference. Secondly, stock up on items. Group healing, revives and FP items are ideal, although really you only need FP restoratives since we are going to be using Peach as a constant party member for this fight. Trust us, you will need her. With the basic stuff out of the way, we need to grab a few more items. Firstly, you need to grab the Lazy Shell and the Lazy Shell Armor. The former is Mario's ultimate weapon and the latter is one of the best armors in the entire game. We highly recommend giving this armor to Peach as she is the only character who needs to survive Kulex. The more stats she has, the better. In terms of accessories, we recommend giving Peach the safe ring to make her immune to all ailments. Gino should be giving the Jinx belt to maximize his stats. Mario can have his pick, although we really like the zoom boots so he can act first in every single round. Handy for dropping those emergency item based revives. With all of that done, we can finally fight Kulex. Kulex is no joke and is in fact five monsters, Kulex himself and his four crystals. These crystals are elementally coded and make it so AoE magic damage is functionally worthless. Sorry Malo, you can stay on the side benches here. Kulex will attack five times per turn and this is why he is so dangerous. The trick is to survive Kulex and then very slowly destroy his crystals. With each crystal that is destroyed, Kulex's damage output will drastically decrease. Once you have defeated two or three crystals, you should be in a position where Kulex is starting to struggle to deal substantial life-threatening damage. It is at this point you want to focus him down and kill him. This can take a while, but hit him enough times and Kulex will fall and all of his remaining crystals will be instantly destroyed. You are rewarded with one of the best items in the entire game, the Quartz Charm. This item doubles your damage dealt whilst halving the damage you take whilst also making you immune to one hit kills. This is ludicrously powerful and a key piece to any build looking to tackle the post game. How to unlock the post game Super Mario RPG on the SNES didn't originally have a post game at all. This is a new addition to the Switch version and it adds a whole new layer of challenge to the game which is, for the most part, fairly straightforward. The post game is automatically unlocked after watching the credits. You will be asked to save your game and then you are good to go. A toad will arrive and hand you a voucher. This piece of paper will allow you to sleep at the Marimo Hotel for free. Considering how expensive that place is, this is a kingly gift indeed. Needless to say, head to the Marimo Inn, clap down your voucher and go for a sleep in the suite. Upon awakening from your slumber, Gino will mention a strange light coming from Star Hill. It looks like you've been given some direction and you better believe the post game is well and truly underway now. Head to Star Hill and you will find new wishes. They are in a lovely shade of purple so you can't miss them. Interact with all of them to get some insight into who made these wishes. Long story short, these are the wishes of vanquished bosses. Head to the Frog Sage in Tadpole Pond and he'll guide you towards a boss that needs slaying. After each fight, return to the Frog Sage and he'll bestow another tip. There are 6 bosses in total, plus 1 extra super ultra hard boss. These are Jinx, Punchinello, Booster, Bunt, our fishy friend Jonathan Jones and Belome. Topping it all off is the return of Kulex. Be prepared to master perfect timings on attack and defense. Tips on defeating Jonathan Jones Jonathan Jones, the current juice-loving shark pirate in the sunken ship, is clobbered just like any other boss. He has all the same tricks and is very straightforward, all things considered. 
That being said, he is also the most important boss here, since when he is defeated, he hands you the extra shiny stone. This is required to fight the super secret post game boss, Coolex 3D. Tips on defeating Jinx Jinx was one of the harder bosses in the main game and totally optional to boot. Jinx was, of course, worth beating the three times you had to beat them because you got the wonderful Jinx belt for your troubles. Post game Jinx is mostly more the same, only much harder. They come packing their usual assortment of instant death spells, so be sure to have someone using the Quartz Charm to avoid that. Oh, and pack plenty of revival items. To win, simply use a triple attack. The catch is that your gauge is reduced to zero at the start of the fight. You are going to need to land perfect block and perfect attacks to build it up very quickly. You can once again find Jinx in Monster Town inside of his dojo. Tips on defeating Punchinello and Bunt Punchinello is far easier to beat than Jinx simply because her primary method of attack, spawning bombs, is easily countered. Use Peach's sleep spell to disable the bombs and then land a perfect hit to turn them around. Rinse and repeat until you are done. Bunt is weak to more or less the same strategy. Pop a sleep spell and then go to town. You can find Punchinello in the coal mines and Bunt in Marimor. Tips on defeating Booster Booster is all about having snippets to help him out. You can deal with them pretty darn easily by using Geno Whirl. This ability, when perfectly timed, will inflict 9999 damage to a very small selection of enemies in the game. Snippets are one of those enemies. This spell is cheap to use, so use it to mulch Booster's minions as you work on taking him out for good. You can find Booster in Booster's Tower. Unfortunately, Booster's battle can also bug out. Make sure to equip Gino with any item that can increase his speed to above 35. Even with the right speed stat, Booster still may unleash a team wipe attack every single turn. If that happens, you'll have two options. Either pray for a patch or use three red essence rare items. You can get those through various secret means or slowly grind them at Great Guys Casino playing his random chance game. How to defeat Coolex 3D Coolex is back only this time he is fully 3D and substantially more powerful. Main game Coolex was already the hardest challenge in the game pre post game and seeing him come back even more powerful is enough to cause even the most ardent of player to shudder. To defeat Coolex 3D, we highly recommend you reach at least level 26. That being said, hitting level 30 will make the fight noticeably easier. You are going to need to use some choice equipment here too, as anything less than the very best is going to leave you feeling a little bit raw after Coolex 3D gets to smashing. We recommend grabbing the Lazy Shell Armor and Weapon, the Super Suit, Safety Badge, Quartz Charm, Jinx Belt and Attack Scarf. Of all of these items, the Attack Scarf and Super Suit are the hardest to get since you need to perfectly time 30 and 100 Super Jumps consecutively. If you can't get them, then equip the best armor you can buy plus the Zoom Shoes or Booster's Charm as these all make solid alternatives. You also want to have plenty of items on hand. Red Essence grants invulnerability and is very handy for avoiding the endless tirade of attacks coming your way. Nabbing Chiro Cola from the juice bar to get full HP and FP restoration is also great, as are any revival items. Fill your inventory with the best items in the game before even attempting this boss. The trick to Coolex 3D is to not be dead. And to do that, you need to destroy his crystals as quickly as possible, starting with the blue crystal as this one is by far the most annoying to deal with. Coolex will start a countdown before unleashing a super attack. Make sure your entire party is healed to full, then swap Peach out so she doesn't get deleted, and then bring her back in to heal. Coolex's killer attack deals maximum damage. The only way to survive is if you're at 100% HP. Unlike your first fight with Coolex, you have to destroy every single crystal before you kill Coolex 3D, otherwise they will just resurrect him. Luckily, defeating all five crystals also makes this fight so much easier. 
it will just take a while since they all have substantial health bars. Another strategy to use is to collect a lot of rock candy and use it constantly on Mario when equipped with the Quartz Charm for maximum damage. Use Geno's ultimate special while Peach heals. If you can dish out around about 600 damage per turn, you should be able to destroy all the crystals in 4 full turns. Ultimately, the way to win here is to persevere and use everything you've learned on your long journey. Use the best equipment you've found. Perfectly block every attack. Perfectly time all your attacks to bonus damage. It's the final test of your skill and one last hurrah as the game comes to an end and you've bested everything the game has thrown at you. Which is quite a lot when you consider just how challenging the post game really is. And that's basically everything you need to know about the post game bosses. They are not easy. Let us know if you have found any secrets, tips or tricks in the comments down below. If you like this video, drop us a like, a comment or subscribe for more guides.